my name is Brian Kimball. I started the Magic Curry Cart uh, in March of 2009, and I'm still providing the spice of life to those in need. I was just kind of looking for a way to make a little extra money, um, kind of, you know, fun slash drinking money. I had been to Thailand and Central America, Asia in general has like an enormous amount of street food everywhere and uh, San Francisco has, didn't, at the time, didn't really have much street food, at least it wasn't that visible. And so I thought, well what about in this, in this neighborhood I live in, the Mission, there's a lot of bars, a lot of restaurants, um, a lot of people going out all the time, but after 10 p.m. you can't really find something. Your eating choices become really limited. So I thought, one, you know, if you could you know, offer a different option outside of these bars, one night a week you could do quite well. There was already a lady, you know, for many years the tamale lady has been slinging tamales all over, you know, the mission and different bars. And so I thought, well, maybe, you know, something along those lines. I modeled it after a curry cart that I used to eat at in Bangkok and I watched the guy cook many times and so I was kind of saw the way he was doing like a fast curry and so that's kind of what I tried to do and I um, you know I had to buy some just basic startup equipment um, I bought a couple woks I bought some like single burner butane gas stoves bought a rice cooker I found this sort of uh, Burning Man cart and that had been sitting in a garage. It was like a little push cart. Pretty simple, uh, fell apart pretty quickly. Um, but I modified that enough so that I could use it just to like start off. And so I, I practiced with friends, had a couple like tasting sessions, and then I, you know, I sent out the email, sent out a Facebook invite did it right out in front of my apartment, and the rest is history. One thing led to another, and I kind of met the right people um, that were related to street food, but had kind of ties into Whole Foods, and um, they basically brokered a meeting with Whole Foods, and uh, it's, uh, you know, it, it was really fast, probably within a month or two I was in the stores. You know, not a chef. You know, at the time, I never expected it to be so popular. So it was kind of like I was just a regular guy who could cook one dish good and decided to take that on the street. And I think that opened up that avenue for lots of people who, they were just regular people, but they had a family dish or a special dish that they knew. And, you know, why could, you know, how could they do it? If I could do it, I think it, it opened it up that maybe they could do it.